Data sheets. Let's talk about data sheets. Why are they important? Why should you read the TDS? It's a spec sheet. Oh, I'm looking at this car. It's pretty, I'll buy it. That's not how it works. Look, the TD, what, one thing I don't think people realize is that a lot of times with a reputable company, you'll be able to find the technical data sheet and safety data sheet available online. Now that is not just, you know, jargon like, if swallowed, please induce vomiting. Yeah. It is, it's bending strength. It's- Rigidity. Rigidity, how much it can stretch. Elongate. How much it can stretch with five, couple pounds on it at high temperature. Right, right. HTT, heat Reco deflection temperature. Recommended printing point. temperature with Last what size position. nozzle, how quickly, in what yeah. kind of environment. Yeah. Those are gold because a lot of people call, and I'm glad they do, I love helping people, and people I just think don't realize that these documents exist that can help save you guys a lot of frustration. And, and if they don't, I wanna start hashtag, where's the TDS? Because if you go to a site and they don't have a TDS, you gotta request the TDS. Hashtag, where's the TDS? Wait, did we even mention what TDS means for those watching that didn't? Technical data sheet, different from safety data sheet, which is the thing of do not swallow, do not let small children play with, this will kill fish, etc. That's the safety data sheet. The technical data sheet is the one with the technical information that everyone's asking for. What's the... Uh, how many MPA is the tensile strength, you know? Just learning to read the technical data sheet, I won't lie, sometimes sure. people call. I don't know everything off the top of my head, I don't remember for each material. So they'll be like, well, which is stronger? Uh, carbon fiber 9085 or 1010 natural in rigidity? And I'm like, that's a great question. And the answer <laughs> is, <laughs> Google, this quick. one. Yeah. They're like, wow, you're so smart. And I go, I know. <laughs> yeah. But I just read the technical data it, sheet. It is a big thing, and I think this is a topic in 3D printing in general, whether you're an industrial customer or you're a hobbyist. Um, questions are, I mean, we live in the age of the internet, and you can Google just about anything and find very accurate answers. You can also find inaccurate answers, because if I look up tensile strength of, uh, you know, 9085, then I'm going to find the data sheet from Ascentium, the data sheet from 3DX Tech, and the data sheet from, you know, the plastic supplier and the injection molded plastic strength, which is actually going to be different. So TDS is, you do need to be specific and get the filament TDS because they will, well, some yeah. companies, everybody does it different, but they'll have printed it in different orientations and you get the Z axis and the X and the Y axis. And then when it's printed at a 45 degree angle. But there's standards. They're standard, ASTM, uh, so ISO, 580, They should all be printed the same way. Well, it doesn't. Ha that doesn't actually work though, because each orientation you will get a different strength. But that's why you, when you present them with your specimen, you give them three in the pre, you know, the standardized orientations, whether it's flat against the bed, standing straight right. up there's, and on its side. Yeah, there's only so, one company that I'm aware of, and that's Ascentium, that actually provides on their technical data sheet the, what, four different orientations, I believe. X, Y, really? 45 only degree angle, and Z. So if the tensile bar is printed like that, like that, like that, or like that, then they have all those numbers. And that's where you see something like PCTG where, oh wow, it's almost just as strong in the Z, whereas something like uh, CF Nylon or 9085, when printed in FDM through an extruder, is gonna be much less strong in the Z axis orientation. Essentium but, materials are so cool. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Most places just give you one number. And you're like, all right, well, that's probably printed flat in like the most you know, in the strongest right. orientation or something like that. But even then, you know, that data could be off because they printed it with a certain, you know, certain parameters. And we found that if you print hotter or slower or the bigger nozzle, you can actually get around that a lot. On that note, TDSs are important and just about everything can be found on Google. Uh, now, if you are having trouble and really want to know where to find this stuff or whatever, hit us up. We're available. Anyway, that was a short little thing. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see us cover in the next few videos. We've got a lot of projects coming up. We've got the SLS machine here in the back. We've got uh, FDM machines, our 22 IDEX. We've got a bunch of 3D scanners and we do all this stuff all day long. So let us know what you wanna see. Thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video.